very bad day. Stupid job. Wouldn't have to go to this stupid mall at this other stupid place that would accept my stupid resume. Every day this week. I just want one day where I don't have to work the full afternoon shift. It'll be good just to get into the bath and get off my feet. <gasps> Ugh! It figures! Bugs in this old apartment again. They never look after... Tiny... people? Sleeping on my shirt? Oh, forget it. I'm too tired for this. They'll just have to explain themselves after my bath. That's better. Now for a nice, relaxing... <gasps> Ew! Great! Alright, you little bugs. I'm gonna take it easy on you, and you can explain everything shortly. Wonderful. You little critters better not get into anything. Oh, that feels better. Better see what they're up to. Aha! Got you now. kind of gooey under my foot. It's not that gross, really. It's not like they don't deserve it, invaders of my home. I'll get them. But I should at least have something for supper first. Cupboards? Well, since you're already on a plate, I guess you want to be food!
That's right. Squirm all you like. I'll just pop you back in there or pick you up and bite your little heads off. Now, I wonder what this is going to taste like. Don't eat me, Misery. Here comes my mouth, little guy. Misery, leave me alone. This is crazy. Better get away before I gobble you up. <laughs> Let us go. Let us go. Yum. Can't really taste you, but I sure can feel you. What the hell is wrong with you? You just ate me, you sick son of a... Aw, don't be scared. I have a nice soft tongue. If you're really good, I'll gulp you down whole. That's enough for tonight. But I can't have you micro people running around my apartment. Hmm. Tell you what. If you allow yourself to be captured, I may show mercy. Hmm. This'll do. Need some breathing holes, though. Can't just leave them to suffocate overnight. Lots of you little people. How in the world? There's more of you than there were on my shirt. Well, that's sort of weird. You look kind of familiar. It's me, miss. Your friend, Kitty. I was so scared. I had a friend that looked like you. We don't talk much anymore. <laughs> Want to see what I'd do to her if I ever met her again, little intruder? Miss? We're Friends, right? Um, what do you mean to do to me? I'd stand over, like this, glare down at her, raise my foot, taking my time. Hey, quit it! Don't treat me like the others, and that's supposed to squish people under those? Then I'd demand that she run. Letting her get away just a little bit, I, mean, I feel like it gave her a chance. Hey, Misery, you're really going to do this? Why are you doing this to us? <laughs> no, Miss, come on, I'm your friend. Don't do this to me. And then I'd bring my giant foot down and squish! I'd smear her worthless guts across the floor.
no, Jenny, that's terrible. What are we going to do? Check it out, babe. Got my homie over here going to kiss out the stream. Everything but tight, yo. Say name is Dim. What can I say? Ain't no name for no hero. What is he, a demon? I'm no demon, noob. Jeez, Jed. You brought her too. Ain't you ever heard of an Arcanine before? Oh no. An Arcanine? What's it mean? Are you against the number nine or something? <laughs> <sighs> no. It means I'm a tiny humanoid and your only hope for survival, Carol. You two gonna listen up? Good. Now sit down. This may take a bit. Alright. You two have seen what this girl is doing. Now. Pop quiz, do you think this reaction is normal? Oh no, she's like stepping on people with her bare feet. I can't believe it. I won't even touch bugs. That's just too yucky. You're all so wrong. As an Arc-9, I know what most humans are like. You'd be surprised how many sweet, innocent girls like that monster over there cannot care in the least when they step on us. Why? Because it's no big deal to them. Some place in the world know of my kind and even eat us, just like she did. What? You actually showed up, Jim. Guess some people won't lie. Why'd you do that, yo? You'd be sound like you've been watching misery this whole time. You got a death wish, bro? Actually, two of my friends do. I'm here looking for two Arc Nine. They're called Sol and Tay. Both of them came here to get squished under misery's feet. Sorry, I break it to you, Dim. But your friends just sound kind of whack. That's not the worst of it. See these babies? If Miss teases those two like she did eating your friends, we could have a problem. Snap one of these off, and Narc Nine becomes one mean little gremlin. Stomping a Narc Nine to death is possible. Eating one sure is too. Can't survive getting chewed up. Break our horns, and we get powers. Wild powers that can cause so much chaos, you'd wish you never went near us. We're far from weak. So, um, what's the problem, Mr. Dem? Break off your horn and save us. It ain't like that for one. I wouldn't break my horns for anything. See these markings? That's for me reattaching my horns. If I go without these for more than a few moments, my blood is poisoned and I die in like an hour or so. You want that? Uh, no, I guess not. Sorry. I thought not. That's why I need to find those two before they get what they want. Alright, here's how it is. Want to survive? Climb down off here at first light and try to escape when someone new comes in. The apartment door is flush against the floor, so it's gotta be when someone comes in. Lee? Hey, what's up with you, yo? Sound like a tech nerd, not some punk from race bug peoples. Bug people? If I didn't think your screams would wake her, I'd beat you noobs right here. It's just our culture. We get cold in the winter, and so we camp out near the rear vents of computers. What can I say? Some of you talk to yourselves too much when you're online. You pick up what you repetitively hear after some time. Okay, okay. So you gotta wait till, until, uh, what, morning to get here, man? Wow. You really don't know anything, do you? Bugs roam this apartment building at night. You go down there on the floor, and hey, you'd go through a horror story that'd make misery look like a pleasure to endure. Sit tight. Get some sleep. I'll wake you two at first light. Ah, uh, that's, that's fine, Tim. Thanks. Well, we ever get out of this, and, uh, we'll make sure to help you. If you get out of here. Roxy? Hey, it's Miz. I got something really cool to show you. Can you come over this morning? Hey, Misery. Yeah, I'm free till my evening shift. What you got? Oh, it's too cool to explain over the phone. Something you're really going to love. Just hurry over, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> I've never heard you this excited. Is that a goth joke? Just get your butt over here. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> hey, yo, Kay. Dim, where are you two? She's just down in the kitchen. You're not gonna get away this time. No. Hey, yo, misery, come on, yo. We're friends. You dyed my girlfriend's hair together. Come on. We're in the same class together. There we go. Just the right amount of pressure. Do you like it? Being massaged against my big, huge, bare foot? Come on, try to get free. Get away! My foot's gonna eventually squish you flat. <sighs> What's the point, yo? Gonna do what she wants to do anyways. Uh. Run! Hurry! Run! Any time now. I don't know how much longer I can keep my giant foot from crushing you! Oh! A rat! Roxy! Thanks for coming over! Okay, okay, you're not gonna believe this. There are really tiny people all over my apartment! No, really! I don't know how they got here! I found them last night when I got home from work. Come on, help me find some, will ya? If it'll make you happy, miss. Just take her easy, will ya? You're acting like you're going to hyperventilate. It's just so cool. Can you imagine what it would be like just to be a bug? I stepped on so many of them so far. They feel cool under my feet. You've been stepping on them? Aren't you worried about how they got here and who they are? They're in my house, Roxy, and I don't care how they got here. They shouldn't be here. So I'm doing them a favor and showing them out. Permanently. I found him! Or I mean, one. This is one, right? Wow, you weren't kidding. You really killed some? Yep, ate some too. You're pretty good. <laughs> He's funny. Tiny little thing. So, can I try it then? Can I squish him under my feet? One step at a time. Okay, now get him with your toes. Poke him under my arch. Be careful. My foot's kind of soft, but he'll squish right into it. If you do it too hard. <laughs> How about under my heel? Like that little guy? This is your fate to be squished under my big, gross feet. Feet aren't gross, Roxy. I've been walking the neighborhood all morning, Miz. They're probably all sweaty and slimy. Aw, he doesn't mind, do you, little guy? Under Roxy's nice bare feet instead of my big evil ones that have squelched so many of your friends. Hey! Let's squish him between our feet! <laughs> well, there's a wicked idea! Come here, little guy. Come on now, don't fight it. Aw, doesn't that feel good? Wow, you're a lot gentler than I am. Usually he'd be squished with me already. Well... Take it easy now, okay? Take it easy there, little guy. That tickles a bit. Now, just push our feet together gently and... Ew! Your feet do feel a little icky, Roxy. <laughs> I told you I was out walking around. Come on, little guy, struggle for us or I'll start breaking your arm between my toes. Show Misery and I how much you love us. I think it's cooler just to rub them under your feet. They'll really try to get away, and you can really mess them up. Okay, so can I squish him? Oh, this is going to feel so cool. Ready to die under my bare soul, little dude? Hurry it up, Roxy. I'm getting bored. Hey, he's mine. I can feel him so well. 
like the wrinkles of my foot are compressing down over him. Just like plush softness rolling down over top of him, trapping him. I can feel him struggling only a little. I think he's given up. Want to be a quitter, little guy? Then take this. Well? That was awesome. Do you have any more? I... don't think so. Sorry. But they must have come from somewhere. It's far from over, Misery. That is nothing compared to what is to come. <laughs> <laughs>